Oh, what's up? The yeah, from Powerhouse Miniatures. How you doing? So this is uh, Death Watch Overkill, D uh, Kill Team Cassius, another um, squad of the eleven Death Watch guys from uh, Death Watch Overkill. Uh, I think it's the sixth set I've done now. I've got two left. Uh, one's pretty much finished. So I've got to uh, do the bases and stuff, and then I'll do some more photos and uh, another video on that one. And then I've got one more in my commission list, and then that is it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm going to move on to some of the Death Mask stuff or some of the new. Um, Death Watch releases, they've been super popular, loads of people asking, loads of in, uh, inquiries and, and whatnot, so other than the, just the fact they're awesome and like cool models and, and good in the game, they've just got the new codex uh, and got the formations and the death, obviously the Death Mask box uh, as well as Death Watch Overkill, so yeah, really, really cool, really popular at the moment and I really like them, so yeah, the six set, same as always, just copied the box art, so I'll spin them around a little bit, um, nothing, nothing, nothing major to report really. They're the same as the others, just um, slightly different basing to some of the other sets. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing really to say. I've had a really, really fun time painting them. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said in one of the previous videos, I was like sort of sick of them, but um, I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. They're cool. Like, I'm going to do a Death Watch uh, Codex review video uh, coming up soon because I'm. I do this every couple of months. I get really obsessed with stuff. And uh, it was a Gene Stealer cult, and I started off a Gene Stealer cult army on my own. <laughs> and uh, obviously, their codex is rumored to come out soon as well, so I might be able to still carry on with that. But I got a little bit into the idea of doing a Death Watch thing myself as well. Um, so, yeah, I've got to start uh, following through with a lot of these ideas because, uh, yeah, so far I'm just, um, I'm just I'm just sort of going with it. Um, and I think, yeah, these are obviously all on commission, but uh, very, very tempted to start my own one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said nothing really to report. Really cool. Loads of like neat edge highlighting, uh, edge highlighting and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to set these commissions, they charge two hundred pounds for the entire thing, uh, but that includes buying the models as well. So usually I'll just um, I'll buy the separate set of the new box of just these guys for like forty quid or you know whatever it is in the independent uh, retail online. Um, and yeah, and then two hundred pounds in total, which is everything. Um, buying the kit, the, you know the, the cost of the models themselves, having them delivered to me, assembly. Um, clean up, priming, painting, basing, delivery to you, all the rest of it. Um, so, and if you're international, there's an extra charge um, for postage because it costs me a lot more. So, something like you know, 210 quid, something like that. So, all the HD pictures are on my Facebook page at the minute, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures. And uh, my links to everything will be in the description of this. But uh, uh, the listings are usually on eBay, or I take commissions obviously through email and, uh, and private message and stuff. So, uh, yeah, awesome. There's nothing else to say about them really, so this is the sixth one. Two more to go, one pretty much finished, um, and then these. So, as always, cheers for watching. Any questions, anything like that, really appreciated. I know it's been quite a long time since I've uploaded anything. Um, I sort of a, bit of a few mental things going on. But uh won't get into my personal life on here. So there, the, there you go. Really cool. Um, the rules for these guys, actually, in fact, are in the, you know, the ones in the, uh, in the box. From Death Watch Overkill. Some of those are kind of silly. The, um, where it was like the rules for the entire squad, so you'd lose the jetpack rules and, and stuff like that. But in the Death Watch Codex now, um, some of the like the unit compositions start with just the one model. So the Terminator guy, it's like Death Watch Terminator is pretty much the same point. It's pretty much all the same um, rules and everything. But you can have a unit of just one. So that's starting to make a lot more sense. So these guys as well, other than the fact that they are a standalone unit, have got their own rules and there's like a formation for them obviously. Um, they're starting to become really usable, really accessible in um, with the new Death Watch Codex. So um, this would be like a Watchmaster or something like that as opposed to being uh, Cassio, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. And there's uh, rules for the librarians and bikers and everything else. So I'll be doing a review video on those soon. So check back for that. Other than that, have a good time and uh, I'll see you soon.